and in the coming years and weeks. That's the only way. No. Mr. Speaker, Canadians have been misled. Our travel restrictions are not symmetrical with the United States. Our requirements for an arrival PCR test is the only one in the G7, and the minister knows that. PCR arrivals testing is wasteful, it's punitive, and it's ineffective. Canadians want to know what day will this government drop these ineffective and costly travel restrictions? The Honourable Minister of Transport. Speaker, um, speaking of science, I want to remind every member of this House that we are still in a pandemic. We still have thousands of people in hospitals. We still have thousands of surgeries being cancelled. So we will follow the science, Mr. Speaker, and as conditions change, we will change our regulations and we will change our rules. But we cannot take advice from a Conservative Party that hasn't even been able to convince Canadians of vaccination. We will take advice from scientists and from our public health workers. Well, member for Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, can somebody update the minister's talking points? Across the country, uh, provincial governments are listening and they are presenting plans. So the Chief Public Health Officer of Canada, as well as Provincial Health Officers, have all said it's time. 90% of Canadians are vaccinated, so I'm asking the Prime Minister when he will stop traumatizing Canadians and give us a plan to live our lives with COVID. What is the threshold? What day will he lift the restrictions? The Honourable Minister. Again, Mr. Speaker, I want to bring my colleague back to earth. We are in the middle of a pandemic. We have thousands of people in hospitals. We have surgeries being cancelled. We will adjust our measures as the circumstances change. And the way we change our measures is by listening to scientists, by listening to experts. I'm sorry, I'm I'm having a hard time hearing the response. The noise is just uh, too high. So I'm going to ask the minister to start again so I can hear the full answer. The Honourable Minister of Transport, please. Mr. Speaker, Canadians understand that we all need to follow science to protect our loved ones and to protect our health care workers. Canadians will do whatever it takes to protect their loved ones. I, I can assure you, Mr. Speaker, our government will do what is needed to, to protect our health and to protect our economy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good job.